Good morning, everyone. So I walked out this morning to water the turtles, fill up their bowls, tortoises, I should say, and I noticed a little hole. And that means one of two things. Something dug in to live here, or We've got babies. And we've got babies. I think there's... I didn't take him out. That's the tiniest one I've ever had. That's the tiniest one I've ever had. So, I think there's one more in here. There could be more. And I'm hesitant to excavate him or her because like a butterfly coming out of the cocoon I don't know if they need that to build their strength but uh, this is a very exciting day because it's been a few years since there have been babies and now to decide whether to leave them out here or bring them inside but whatever the case, I'm going to be sure they have darkness and shade because they will fry in the sunlight very quickly. When I first saw the hole, there was a rock in it that looked like it could be a lizard's skull. I think this was it, so I just saw... A little bit like that. And then I saw what was uh, what looked like eggshell. So I'm familiar with that. I saw this little piece here. And then, okay, there's babies. And got very excited, started to look around, and found him over there in the tall grass. And when there's one, there's usually two, at least. Let me get the tweezers and pull some of these little pieces of dirt out. But I uh, don't know if it's a male or female. It takes quite a while to find out. So, uh, haven't named him yet either. So, welcome to the world, little buddy. Welcome to 2020. Happy birthday. Unbiblical cord, egg sack. I think this is the tiniest one I've ever had. Welcome to the world. You made 2020 a little better. Got the tweezers. I'm going to check for more. Forgive me if my fingers get in front of the lens. I'm doing this kind of awkwardly. First of all, our little buddy, our first little buddy's right there. Hiding. I gave him that to protect him from the sun. Boy, I've made that mistake before, and it's heartbreaking. I think we got one right there. I think there could be as many as six. Yep, see the spine? Yep, 
one more right there. Oops, you move. Yep, there he goes. I'm going to leave him in there for a while, but as long as he's moving, he's okay. He'll dig his way out. I may help by moistening the area, but I am hesitant to dig him out because I don't know how that works with tortoises. If it works like a butterfly in a cocoon. You do more harm if you help it out of the cocoon. You're really you're helping it if you let it do the work so it builds strength. There's number two, and there could be another one underneath him. Well, today's a good day. I'll check back. I'm back to pour some water around the hole. Before I do that, let's take a look at our little buddy here. This is the first one. And this is totally unexpected. I knew they had been mating, but I never saw them dig a hole, which I've seen quite a few times over the years. And this must have happened before I built this new pen for them. Because I haven't had the pen very long, or have I? No, I don't think I've had it three months now. But I could be wrong. I don't remember where the original pen ended, so yeah, I think this may have happened after I built this. Anyway. This is our little buddy here. Looks very healthy. I think that little white on his beak is what's left of the egg. And you can see where the egg sac was right there. I'm gonna put him down so he doesn't get too scared. There's one in here. Look at the pen. I thought it typically takes three months for the, between laying the eggs and the hatching. There's focus now. And I built this during the pandemic, so, which has been about five or six months now. So yeah, it could be within that time. I'm losing track. But there's our little second little buddy. I'm gonna pour some water around it. I think it's okay to pour it in it, but I'm not going to on purpose. Uh-oh. See, it'll go, it'll suck it right up. Oh, that was an accident, buddy. Uh-oh. Drain, drain, drain. I would hate for that to happen. Can you see him moving now? You can see him much more clearly now this over here. 
I don't know if I'm helping. I certainly hope I'm not. I certainly hope I'm not hurting. Oh, is that a third? I think we've got a third. Yep, we've got a third. There's little faces. Stop for a second. I'm giving him a hand, and I don't know if I should be doing this, but it's about to rain, and I don't know. I know this holds a little bit of water. I don't want them to drown. And I gave it some thought. I haven't done the research yet, but I just gave it some thought if I'm thinking about, if I'm comparing it to a butterfly in a cocoon, then they're really already out of their egg, the cocoon. So I don't think I'm doing any harm. And there he is right there. And it started to fill up with dirt, which I think is fine. And then they've been underground for weeks. But I don't know about the water. It hasn't rained in a week or so. And I don't know how long they've actually been out of their shells. So I'm going to take the chance. Come on, buddy. I've never done this before. There's the end of his tail. His head's there, I know that. That's the edge of his shell. And this other one here got completely covered. I don't know how hard their shells are, so I don't want to put any force on it and actually tear them apart. That would be catastrophic. And you know eggs are hatched all the time out of the dirt, out of the ground, so... Truth is, I should have just left them alone earlier. Still moving. I'm gonna stop for a second. He's trying to get out.
they have the is there something wrong with him come on come on what I thought was his head was his foot so I hope I didn't hurt him loose he's free oh I sure hope I didn't hurt his little head I got awfully close Looks okay. He's strong. There's his eye. Well, that was close. So there's two. And the third, you can feel her right there, the edge of her shell. So she, even if it rains, I'm thinking rain might dislodge her, but I just don't know what the right thing to do is here. If it were nature, of course, I wouldn't be a part of the process. Okay, I think she's alive. Wiggle her a little bit. I can tell legs are moving. Yep, see the legs? He's feisty. Yeah. So what do I do? Do I let it be? Wouldn't take much effort for her to get out. There's a little leg. I just don't know what to do about the rain because I've had babies drown before. Look at that little sucker climbing. Look at that. Look at you go. We're so close. Come on. Come on. Come on.
Why are you so still? I hope I didn't hurt you. I think the rain's coming. You're digging the wrong way. I think I got your tail. Come on, turn around. Hello there, Mr. Turtle. How do you do? Hello there, Mrs. Turtle. How have you been?